Oh, hey, new Smith button. This portion is brought to you by Zachariah Smith. No matter, no matter what you do in life, you'll never be as good as him. Haha. <laughs> Zachariah Smith is not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing. All right, continuing with the first movie discussion. First movie, uh. I love the first book. I just because I love the part in the book where it's they're so going through all the trials to get to the yeah. Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. I yeah. love all that. I wish they had kept him in because yeah, it showed that Snape was actually protecting the exactly. Sorcerer's Stone. Exactly. The whole portion. The whole, whole, whole Snape's up to something. Snape's up to something. Of course he or is. Or like he got bit by the dog. But like I love the potion <clears> because it, it's it's that entire thing that Hermione says about most wizards um, can do all this magic, but they can't think logically. Yeah. And. It's yeah. like so important because they use their brains so much in the series. Oh, it's a little so tidbit. Lame. I'm like education. <laughs> a little tidbit of information though. David Thule is originally uh, auditioned for Professor Quarrel. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, he originally oh. auditioned for Quarrel and you they shot him down, so he came back as Lupin. Oh, 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 okay, go, okay, go. People have been going. How could Professor Quarrel obviously taught taught at Hogwarts before? How could he? Um, how could he do that with the curse on the fencing dark arts? Oh, he, he, no, um, he, he didn't. Yes, yes, he did. He taught a different subject. I forget what it was. It was Muggle Studies oh, or yeah. something. But he started teaching defense against the dark arts that year. That year, so it was, oh, yeah. it was still the curse you're was right. still going on. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I remember that. No, you have to say how cute the kids were when you see them. When you go back and watch the first movie, they're like, oh, they're not like 22. The first movie is so much like the first book. Like I read the first book and then I watched the movie it's right after. Identical. And they use lines directly. Yeah. But the book, the first book's so short. Oh though. yeah, it's so yeah. short. It's but so Christopher short, but Columbus so did a really good job. He did directing. But um, they're getting that cathedral back for the sixth movie. That big they are place because of, like the hopefully they're gonna combine. You mean David Gates is doing something like, that will actually be authentic. Hold it, we'll get to the fifth eventually. Um. Uh, uh, okay. Let's see what else happens. Um. Harry kills Quirrell. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty yeah. awesome. But I like the how that, good were the graphics in that though. He just like disintegrates into dust. You, you and it can looks tell that horrible. In the book, you can tell that it's a first <laughs> book because it's got that structured plot. We find out there's a problem, there we figure out the problem, there's steps to go through to solve the problem, yeah, to solve like, the problem, you Like, know? There, there's tiny stuff that connects, but you don't know it. Like, like in, in the later, in the later ones, on. you can tell that there are connections, there's stuff mm -hmm. that's going to be explained later. Like, yeah. in, in the first one, there's stuff that's going to be explained later, but you don't think about it because you don't think it needs to be explained because it's not, it doesn't jump out at you. Yeah, right. And you're not Especially looking. the wand shop scene. I mean, like, all the references that are made, he talks about his parents' wands that, like, it goes on to talk about his parents' personality. They talk about, that's the first reference when they say that Harry has his mother's eyes. And also, yeah. it was the first quote, the wand chooses the wizard. <laughs> yeah, I thought one of the saddest parts of the uh, first movie was, um, or the first book in general, is, I thought someone who was really brave was Nicholas Flamel because he chose to die because yeah. he saw the problem yeah. he was creating and well, he chose to die. They barely mentioned it in the in the movie too. They I know. Like, oh wow, well, he, he died. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of bravery, may I just say Neville standing up and getting those ten points and, and painting, <laughs> painting at the feast because he's never won anything. <laughs> Feast, you start hearing everyone's backstories. I didn't like, I didn't even recognize it until I was working on the encyclopedia and I was looking back through on that one chapter at the welcoming feast when they start talking about mm -hmm. each other. They talk about Neville, they talk about his background, how they discovered that he had magic, they talk about his family, they yeah. talk about Dean Thomas and his family. They talk about yeah. about Seamus. Oh, oh, trivi trivia fact about the first book and Dean Thomas. In the British edition, 30 seconds. There's a line in the American edition where it's like, Dean Thomas was a tall black boy or something like that. <laughs> they cut <laughs> that out of the British edition. <laughs> <laughs> J.K. Rowling was still new to writing, still new to writing, so she wasn't gonna like argue with anything. But when the American Condition came out, she's like, "Uh, listen, I know you're changing the name of my book or anything, but still leave this line in about Dean. He's gonna be kind of important at some point." <laughs> 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 All right, moving on. I guess second book next round. Yes. All right, this was brought to you by Narcissa and uh, Bellatrix, beating Alphabet every day. Yeah.